Today I'm going to show you how to use IBM Watson for visual recognition, for image classification to be more specific. So what is IBM Watson? They say it's a cognitive technology that can help, that can think like a human. Big words. Watson basically is a supercomputer created by IBM, which you can access via the internet for free for under certain circumstances. So let's go ahead and create an account at console.ng.bluemix.net. So you click on sign up. I already have an account. And you follow the process. And once you have your account created, let's log in into the dashboard. I'm assuming that you have Python installed on your system. In this tutorial, I'm going to work with Python 3 on Windows. So we're going to use Python to access IBM Watson through the visual recognition API. But first we have to create a visual recognition service. So let's log in into the account. So what once you're as soon as you're in your IBM Bluemix dashboard, you click on services. You go to Watson and we're going to create a new service here. Create Watson. You go to visual recognition, click on it. You don't have to change anything here. Just click create. Well, I already have a visual recognition service created, so I'm going to use that one. But in the meanwhile, you have to install the Watson developer module in your Python. So pip three install Watson developer cloud. I already have this one installed, so I assume you don't. Back to the Bluemix. You click on your visual recognition service. This is where you're going to have to take the credentials, the API key that you're going to use in Python to log into to your IBM account. So you go to credentials. OK, so we're opening a Python 3 interactive shell. And from Watson Developer Cloud, import visual recognition v3 as vr3 or as vr. We're going to call it vr. Now, you have to get your API key from here, copy paste it. So copy the API key. We're going to create an instance of VR. And we're going to log in with our API key. And we're going to use the version from 2016. 520. Now that we have our instance created, the visual recognition instance created, and we're logged in, we can use we can use it to classify images. You can either have the images from your from your computer, or you can use a link to an image from the internet. In this case, I'm going to use an image from the internet. So I'm going to use image instance 
classify because we're going to use the classifier and it's going to be images.url I think I don't want to be mistaken let's look for an image let's look for a winter image pick anyone from here nice image this is the paradox of choice let's try one with people how about this one? View image. We get the image location. Copy image location. And we're going to paste it over here. And there you have it. It should have been classified. This looks the results are in a JSON format and and it looks kind of messy but what you can see is that Watson is 96.7.7% that this image contains ski okay let's try and view the results in a better way by going down the JSON tree so image image images zero classifiers again zero and classes let's try and see it even better by importing pretty print so we're gonna do pretty print dot pretty print so Watson is 96.7 confident that this is about ski 81% confident that it contains snow 59% confident that it's about some sort of sport 59% that it contains mountain and 54% that it's about skiing well I think it got it quite accurate all right so in a future video I'm going to show you how to use the IBM Watson visual recognition for text recognition and in a later video for facial recognition. So don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching.